When playing a game of Mario Baseball, it's very important to choose some great batters for your team. And today, I've looked in depth with stats, chemistry, special moves, and more to determine what truly are the top 10 best batters in Mario Super Sluggers. Coming into the number 10 spot are the Piantas. The yellow, red, and blue Piantas are widely recognized as some of the best batters in the entire game. And while they are all very good, they are nowhere near the best. All characters in Mario Super Sluggers have a set stat number out of 10, and all three Piantas have an 8 in the batting section. That truly is a monstrous bat. However, other facts about these characters drag them down and limit their overall potential as characters. They all have different stat spreads, however the red and yellow Pianta have a stat total of only 18, while the blue one has a total of 19. Those totals are pretty average and that isn't very good for a batter. As for the chemistry, Piantas only have 4 other characters that they have good chemistry with, so it is even more difficult to implement them on a team. Not the worst chemistry, but definitely not the best either. Overall, the Piantas are good batters, but there are 9 other characters that I believe are better. At number 9, I chose the Fire Bro. This character, like the Piantas, has an 8 in its batting stat, which is very good, however it does have a better stat total with 20. While the Fire Bro only has 3 characters that is good chemistry with, I believe that the extra point in its stat total is much more valuable, I'm going to give you the example. The blue Pianta's only stat above 5 is its batting stat, meaning that is the only element in the game that it performs exceptionally well in. On the other hand, the Fire Bro, while only having one more stat in the spread, is much more effective at highlighting its strengths and not focusing on its low points. A 6 in fielding is nothing great, however it does give you an idea of where to place the Fire Bro when it's not time to bat. Pianta's second best stat is a 5 in pitching, and honestly, if the best pitching stat you have on your team is 5, you're almost guaranteed a loss. The pitching stat is much more important than the fielding, because there are 3 fielding positions, so there is more room for characters with a fielding stat that isn't exactly amazing, if that makes sense. Coming in at number 8, I chose the Red Critter. A pretty obscure character, but the Red Critter is definitely not to be taken lightly when he's up to bat. Having an 8 in the batting stat and a total of 21, the Red Critter would be a pretty good addition to anyone's team. This choice, however, comes with a dilemma though. The main debate between choosing the Fire Bro and the Red Critter is whether the extra stat point or more chemistry options is more valuable. The Critters all have chemistry with only one character, and that is King K. Rule. The extreme lack of good chemistry options is horrible for a character, causing you to have to build your team around this fact. Some people are fine with having some gaps in the chemistry for the batting order of their team, but personally, I believe that having the extra opportunity to use this item is vitally important to winning matches and improving your skill at the game. So with that in mind, doesn't that mean the Fire Bros extra chemistry options are more valuable? Well I have to bring up the stat spread again. The Red Critter is incredibly similar to the Fire Bro in stats, and the 6 in fielding I mentioned earlier goes to 7 for Critter, meaning that it is even better in that area. Defending is just as important as batting, so having two very good numbers and stats is very valuable for a character, and in my opinion makes Red Critter better than the Fire Bro and my choice for the number 8 best batter in the game. For number 7, I chose Wario. Wario has an 8 in his batting stat and a total of 20, meaning the Red Critter outclasses Wario overall in that department. And even though I just talked about how stat numbers matter a lot, something else that is extremely important are the star abilities. As I'm sure you all know, in Mario Baseball games every character could use a special star ability while either batting or pitching, but for any character that isn't a team captain, the move is very generic and definitely aren't the best. This is the department where the captains shine, and in my opinion makes Wario a more valuable asset to a team than the Red Critter. As for chemistry, both of them have the same with only one character that they have good chemistry with. These guys really need to be more social. Anyways, because of these reasons, that is why I chose Wario for the number 7 spot. Coming in at number 6 is Funky Kong. One of the more unique additions to the game, Funky Kong is a very good character with a total of 21 in his stats and his batting stat is an 8. Sounds very similar to the Red Critter, however Funky Kong has good chemistry with 5 different characters, which could allow Funky to fit in several different team compositions. This character is a staple to see people playing with and there is a big reason for that and that's because he's a really good batter and that can be very valuable to a team. He's not the fastest or the best pitcher, however he's decent in fielding and great in batting, which is why he made the 6th spot on the list. 
At number 5, I chose a character that I don't see talked about too much for this specifically. Probably because at first glance, you don't expect Birdo to be one of the best batters in the game. Certain characters have a glaringly obvious strength, like how the Nokis are good runners, but Birdo doesn't seem to have any obvious strengths. She certainly is strong though when swinging the bat. Having an 8 in the batting stat and a stat total of 23, Birdo is a very good character. That is just looking at the stats though. Birdo has chemistry with 5 characters and is a captain, so she has a better special move than the average character. These all make Birdo that much better in the game, which is why Birdo is number 5 on the list. Now we begin with the notoriously good batters, with number 4 being the main monkey himself, Donkey Kong. We finally have a new stat number on the list. Donkey Kong comes in with a massive 9 in the batting section, and an overall total of 20. DK is a captain with one of my most favorite special moves being his barrel. Donkey Kong even uses his fist to bat, he doesn't need something to swing. This guy is just awesome and has chemistry with 4 characters, meaning while it isn't anything amazing there are some options when choosing DK as one of the heavy hitters for your team. Coming in at number 3 we have the first character with a 10 in the batting stat, King K. Rool. While he may have a lower stat total than Donkey Kong with 19, and he does have a lower amount of good chemistry options with 2, what obviously tops DK is the perfect 10 in the batting. While I did mention earlier that the star abilities could be more valuable than a stat point at times, this is not an example. Having a perfect stat makes you a top tier for your particular stat section. And while the special move option is nice, I want to go over the stats in depth. K. Rule and DK are both characters who go exclusively for home runs, because their running stats are lacking. You don't go up to bat with K. Rule looking to get a single, you want to get it into the stands. So even though K. Rool has one less in the running stat, that's pretty much irrelevant. TK has a better fielding stat, but that doesn't matter much because the running for both is so slow anyway. They have the same pitching stat with 6, and what it all ultimately boils down to is the batting. Because K. Rool has the higher stat, he will have a higher chance of getting it out of the park, unlike DK who has a lower chance. Coming in at number 2 is PD Piranha. PD is an awesome character and the second best batter in the game. PD has a perfect 10 in the batting section and has a total of 21 in his stats. PD is definitely a monstrous character in Mario Super Sluggers and the second best batter in the game. He has 4 chemistry options, and while not having the best stat spread, him having more stats than King K. Rool puts PD above him on the list. I really enjoy using PD in certain team setups, and while the 4 chemistry partners may not be the greatest, the characters that PD Piranha does get good chemistry with can be used in unique ways. And because of these reasons, that is why I chose PD for the second best batter in Mario Super Sluggers. Finally, at the number one spot is King Koopa himself, Bowser. One associated with power and dominance, Bowser is one of the best characters in Mario Super Sluggers and hands down the best batter in the game. When up to the plate, Bowser boasts his huge perfect 10 stat in hitting and a 21 total. Bowser also has good chemistry with 5 different characters, including a fellow captain, Bowser Jr. So if you want to have 2 captains back to back, Bowser and Bowser Jr. would definitely be a good combination idea considering both can flow into several other characters, allowing for several team options. Bowser, like PD Prawn, is one of my favorite characters to base teams around, and I really want to know what your favorite characters or team compositions are in the comments section. Bowser may not have the best total, but overall I think he is by far the best batter in the game. The stat spread of Bowser doesn't seem to be the best, with his second best stat being 5 in pitching, which doesn't lead Bowser to many options when defending, considering he has a 3 in fielding as well. Bowser isn't a fast runner either, having a 3 in that as well. Bowser is a member on your team because of his ability to get easy home runs though. The reason some of the batters are on this list is because they can hit the ball far and capitalize on it with either impressive other stats or a great amount of chemistry with other characters. But once you get to the characters with a 10, they are mainly on your team to get those homers. They don't have the running stat to back it up if the ball doesn't go far enough. However, one of the big reasons Bowser is number one is that even if you don't feel confident when you're going up to the plate and you don't think that you're going to get that home run, when you're up, you still have the option to use that special star ability to get the ball in the field and at least get on base. But that's just my list. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more Mario content. I do have plans to make more videos like this about Mario sports games if you're interested in this topic because I really enjoy talking about it, but that all depends on what you guys think, and because I read all of your comments, I take your ideas into consideration. This is your channel too, and when making my videos, I just really like to consider what you guys think. Thanks for watching, peace.
Peace out.